Hello, welcome to John Technologies. Um, today I'm looking at uh, developing a uh, digital system attached to an analog, analog um, electricity meter. Purpose of this project is to take away the human activity coming to the house to read the bill. This is a simple system that is going to integrate with the GSM modem. And once the modem is called, um, automatically the bill for that month is supposed to be sent to the station. And this was done as an interview in the Pro Tools. And the code was written using micro C for microelectronica. And this is our simple circuit we have here. Okay. Alright. Basically, this is our LCD screen which is going to display the consumption of electricity. This LEDs here are status LEDs um, for the poles per second we have, and then when the power is on. This here forms part of the reference for the up pump we have here seven as a comparator um, these are oscillator for the microcontroller and it's running on 20 megahertz these are virtual simulation area for the modem and for the PPS simulation okay this is a microcontroller that's an 18F25K20 that's a 32K MCU keep up with a lot that's why I chose that these are terminal blocks which we'll be using in real time when the project is built. Okay, right. And then this is the code we have here. A very simple code. Um, and I'm using the RTOS um, for designing this program. It makes it easy to write a program since um, it's going to run the tactics concurrently. So as you can see here, I've not implemented the SMS section of the code. And, uh, I've implemented an incoming call. Okay, so these two sections um, is needed for the station to have access to it. Okay, but when we look at here, we have the pulse function here, which is going to pick up the poles um, we coming up from the dial. Basically, it's a it's an old meter where the where the dial is being used. So what I had to do is that uh, I drill thirty two holes, uh, thirty six holes um, in the dial. So over here you can see my frequency here i get here i divide by 36 that gives me my actual pps so that um doesn't have to reach it's going to be, uh, going to be like 36. so what i did is that i have to divide by 36 and this is much more accurate because um, it takes the smallest uh, reading of 10. okay right um, and the functions uh what we have there this intensity is just to save the consumption the EPO. okay basically so let's come to our main okay so we can see our declaration here. We're setting the, the pots to output. We load all the pots. We disable analog. We set these three things to be input. That's the C0, C2, and then C3 to be input. We turn off comparators. We disable global interrupts. We configure the USART for communication with the modem. I initialize my LCD. That's a 2 by 16 LCD. Glide it and then move the cursor, and then my first tech that comes on the LCD is GSM meter. Okay, so the next stage of the program is going to check um, if the this is a, a fresh a fresh installation, so it goes into the EPROM and checks if the EPROM has um, any value of the 0F within the area to store um, the consumption, um, it's going to zero it. So you can see there when there's an F, you should put zero there. Once that is done, we read um, the value into the variable we declared earlier, that's JJ. And that JJ, yeah. Basically, since we didn't want to store a decimal in the EPROM, you can see I read all as, um, as an integer. And then once I'm done, um, I divide by 100 to get my actual value. Once that is done, we come and set our timer 1, which we use for the CCP. And this CCP is on a capture on rise. Then I initialize my timer two, which we have up here. Timer two here, and this is going to interrupt everyone one MS. Um, that is important um, for the RTOS to work. So the RTOS runs, um, it runs a schedule every one MS. Okay, all right. 
So basically, this is a small program we have in the back controller we've written. And when we turn on our system, we can see the right the JSON first, and then this is the consumption. Okay. So now, as you can see, it's consuming about twenty. They consume twenty one point three five kilowatt hour, and then changes to the PPS. And you can see our PPS is going to be a zero point six um, PPS. That's about um, zero point six hertz. Okay. And basically, the PPS is for the hertz. So that's basically the small system we have here, and you can see this LED blinking as the poles go in. This is a um, this area is to detect the pulse. This is an optocoupler, which is going to be fixed in between the dial. So when the LED shines on the phototransistor, we have it conducting, and this current goes to flow through the transistor, and then we're going to have to go and turn on off and off and off like that. Okay, right. so basically this is a small meter we have, and I hope um, if you have questions about it, um, you can send me an email, and I'll be quick to respond to that. Thank you very much.